It is not your typical Crime Stoppers flyer. In today's San Antonio Police and Crime Stoppers offering up to $5,000 for anyone who helps identify these two people. They are said to have left a newborn baby at a church two weeks ago. Experts in the Baby Moses Law tell our Courtney Friedman the community needs some more education about where a baby can be surrendered legally. It was here at Grissom Road Church two weeks ago at 1 a.m. on a Monday. These two were seen leaving a basket at the back door. Inside, a one-day-old baby boy and a note. They logistically did the right thing, but it was at the wrong place. And that right there can get someone prosecuted. Pamela Allen is the CEO of Eagles Flight Advocacy, which holds funerals for abandoned or abused babies and also has lobbied for the Baby Moses Law in the state of Texas. The Baby Moses Law states a baby can be surrendered with no questions asked if the baby is within 60 days old, is handed off at a fire station or hospital, and is unharmed. Unharmed means this baby's not going to come with broken bones, with bruises, drugged up. This is a baby that is unharmed, and that's very specific in the law. Joe Arrington with the San Antonio Fire Department says the locations are specific for a reason. Somewhere where someone is there 24 hours a day, like a fire station or a hospital, where someone with a medical training can immediately take care of that baby. So we can find out the medical, the background of what the baby needs. Was it a premature baby? What happened two weeks ago? A perfect example. We went to that church today and it was closed. No one was around. And like July 17th, it was above 100 degrees outside. The biggest takeaway from it is to, to educate. Now, these safe havens are marked by these yellow signs on the building. Underneath, there's a non-emergency ring bell. Back in the building, it's very loud. We just got to hear it. And a medical professional will come outside and hand off the baby safely. But come September 1st, there is legally another option, baby boxes that can be built into these buildings. You can open them, set a baby inside. It's temperature controlled. We'll go straight into the building with an alarm, and then a medical professional will be able to receive it within two minutes. There are no plans right now for timing for when those boxes will be available, but we are in talks with the San Antonio Fire Department about those plans. For now, we're live at San Antonio Fire Department number four, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.